what's up and welcome to my kitchen today is monday and i'm going to be doing my weekly um deep kitchen ish cleaning i just finished cleaning my fridge and i didn't do that on camera because i don't really like cleaning my fridge so i don't want to go through that extra stress of recording myself cleaning the fridge anyway today i'm going to be cleaning our backsplash once again because i've done it before using a particular product that you guys basically by now would have already seen i'm going to attempt to clean my kitchen backsplash because you know when you are cooking and everything you get like the grease and then the grime and stuff over there so i need to go in depth and clean inside the places very well i also want to clean my hob my cooker the last time that i used um this product i wanted to try to clean my cooker top but i wasn't able to do it because i got very tight so these are the products we are going to be using we're going to be using the pink stuff miracle paste wait multi-purpose cleaner and then the miracle paste i don't know what happened my pink stuff all of a sudden my spray is not working you guys see it is not working i don't know what happened it got to the bottom of the it's basically like at the side of the container and since then when i tried to use the spray it is just not working so i need to open it and then pour it onto my microfiber cloth table to clean and stuff so i'm going to be using this on the countertop and i'm going to be using the paste on the hob and then also on my kitchen backsplash and if i get more strength maybe i'll try and clean the wood i just use my microfiber cloth with water and i just wipe it down never like down like in-depth cleaning so i want to try this sir um wooden cleaner wood a parcel it's a long time i use this thing hope it hasn't expired expired date 2023 ah that's expired where to fourth <laughs> and expired expired in february that's that i don't really need i have another wood cleaner let me go and get it i will just empty out this one pour the new one inside and then um when i'm going to start cleaning the wood i'll just use that to okay, clean so this the is wood. the other wood cleaner that i have this one is new since i got it i haven't used it maybe i've used a little hope you also haven't expired 2024 february 20 all of them are on february so february 2024 then this is going to expire this is the wood cleaner i'm going to be using salute la salute it's not even in english the only thing i see is wood care soapy cleaner so this is going to be like at the end of the video when i'm cleaning the wood and maybe the wood underneath the um the marble or the stone countertop so let's go ahead and do start cleaning i'm going to start off by first removing the things off the countertop the tissue the spoons and all that and then we'll see I'm just going to be cleaning this this one this thing that stays on the cooker you guys see it it has a lot of oil stains on it so I'm just going to use that to try and move as much oil stain I can from this when I was cleaning the hob too I, d I wasn't my intention was not to clean it in a way that it's going to look so squeaky squeaky clean because I'm going to cook again in the, like the next two hours but i just wanted to remove majority of the oil stains and just to make it sparkle a little you saw that i was using the knife to get into the corners of the hob because um, my sponge wasn't getting in there and i needed to use the knife to do that so it's basically better than it was when we started the video so i'm gonna just start cleaning these ones and then the that, that thing that the fire comes to i don't know what it's called i'm going to use the the miracle paste also clean that and i'm going to leave that one to dry and then whilst it is dry i'm going to start cleaning the um the backsplash So this 
what it's looking like currently. It's actually better than before. You see the corner inside here. Let me try and zoom for you guys to see. The corner here, this thing. I don't like going inside there because that is where the ignition, igniter, something. You know, this is an electric and gas hub. And usually, this is where the lighter, the, the electricity lights the gas, basically. So, me, I'm scared. I don't like going inside to clean that place. I'm just my mind but basically it's okay it's better than than before like I said I'm going to be cooking in the next like two hours so I don't really have any intention of trying to make it look brand new so um yeah I've washed the things here the stuff I've dried them outside so now I'm going to try to clean this this place all this place I'm going to try to clean that right now and then hopefully clean under my extractor and remove that thing under there so let's get into it and cleaning all these places then when we are done we clean the countertop these places this countertop here we clean all the side and then we see But I'm so frustrated Hello to my loneliness I guess that ignorance is bliss Take me back to before the new Rewind, take it out of cue Innocence can be a young man's game Signed up for the hall of shame I wish I knew later so i'm done with um the stove top and then the backsplash and it literally just occurred to me that you see i removed the green thing the plastic thing over here it just occurred to me that i might have to take off this side you see this one too? <laughs> i need to take it off <laughs> because it's not supposed to be there. i think it's supposed to be like brown silver and black and i've had this thing covered this the, you can see it so I might have to do that but it's most likely I'm not going to do that today maybe when they come to do another work in the house I'll get one of the workers to take it off but I'm not going I'm to tired. Like, it's like 11 30 right now so I'm just going to clean the countertop um, with the multi-purpose cleaner with this one I'm going to clean the countertop with that and then whatever energy I have left in me I'm just going to just clean the wood the wood I just have to wipe it I don't have to do like deep cleaning i will just spray the um the solution onto the wood surface and then i will just wipe it down so give or take 15 minutes i should be done with everything i'm hungry but i know i gotta do it the truth is hard to swallow i think i'll chew it I 
finishing accomplished i've cleaned the surfaces and i'm not going to allow it to air dry before i go and put everything back on it and when i'm done i'm going to prepare palm nut soup yes palm nut soup like nothing just happened <laughs> it's one thing about cleaning the kitchen i mean you would use all your energy to clean the place and then like 10 minutes or one hour later you have to come and prepare food again but i can't avoid it this is a good motivation for you to clean up your kitchen or to you know just go on your knees and do some deep cleaning in your kitchen i do it like weekly or bi-weekly you know just so that i'm not too worn out you know when i'm cleaning and you know everything and i was able to remove the paint stain you know these tiles when they come and work sometimes their finishing is not good so they left this um that thing they put in between the tiles you know that thing so but the pink stuff was able to help me remove the things from to move the paint stuff from the um from the tiles from the backsplash and yeah my hub too has been cleaned nicely and the counter top the wood everything has been cleaned nicely so like i said <laughs> this is a good motivation for you thank you guys so so much for watching if you enjoyed this video you know what to do a massive thumbs up if you haven't subscribed be sure to do that and i'll see you all in my next video but thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you all later bye bye